Hi, I'm Asai Tufton here, a Certified Strength and Conditioning Specialist at the Florida Institute of Performance. Uh, today I'm just going to give you a quick information about uh, one of the main issues that I see with athletes uh, as far as when they're working on speed and power development, um, one of the things that they need to work on a lot is their arm action, right? So uh, the drill that I'm going to demonstrate is called the seated arm drill. Uh, it's just a work on range of motion and being relaxed in the upper neck and shoulder area as you go through your arm motion while you're running, right? So what I'll do is I have the athlete sit on the ground with their legs extended and we want to get a little posture here. So we want to sit up as tall as we can versus being rounded over at the back, right? So we start here, uh, legs fully extended, feet together, upright as much as possible. And now we're going to work on the arm position. So one arm is going to be forward, the other arm is going to be back. The back arm is going to be back far enough that you can see a little daylight between my hand and my hip, right? So I'm going to clear the hip with that back arm while the lead arm is going to be right at the chin height. So when I start, I'm just gonna switch on the arms. One, two on the switch. So I had to call switch call, bang, bang on the switch, right? So this is the first part of the arm drill. Next, we'll go through a jog motion. Nice and easy, and we're still clearing the hip, keeping that good range. The next portion of the jog is to pick it up, the fast jog, same thing, clearing their hip with the back arm. Staying relaxed here in my chest and shoulders. Now from here, we're going through a sprint motion. And as you can see, my butt's bounce off the ground, but I don't lose my posture here, and I don't shorten my range with the arms. So from our jog, to a fast jog, to the sprint, keep the range, clear the hip, and focus on throwing the elbow back. You'll notice if the elbow throws back, kind of wants to snap forward on its own already, so we want to activate one of those little stretch reflexes. So throw the elbow back, don't muscle forward, otherwise you're gonna get tight and shrug your shoulders up and get all tense in the neck. So stay loose. Throw the elbow back, let it kind of go through its natural motion, and then all we're working on is being aggressive. All right, so that's the seated arm. For more of drills like this and information, please visit our website at floridainstitutofperformance.com, check out our social media, and we'll see you later.